Hi everyone, this is Changma Jacko. Okay, for today we'll be answering this exam question. It's on vectors. Alright, so before we attempt to work out this question, there are basic things that you need to know when dealing with vectors. One of them is direction, and then the other thing is uh, uh, the ratio. Yeah, you need to understand the ratio of vectors. So, let me talk about direction. Direction, if you can see properly, here, the vector is pointing upwards, it's going this way, and this way. If you see properly, direction is very important. And then the ratio, this is uh, Px, where is Px? Px uh, to x cubed, Px to x cubed is 1 to 2. It's very important to know these things. First, let me try to do one or two things on that. Ratio, so that you get to know, or you you get to know the idea which is involved when you are given uh, a ratio like this one. So here they are saying here is one, and here is what is two. You see this two? P x is one, and then x q is two. So now for you to find, uh, in order for you to find uh, the ratio here, what we do is we add. This, this plus this is 3. Okay? So if you want to find the vector over here, it will be Px, vector Px, Px is equal to 1 third over uh, Pq. So 1 third over Pq, this is it, the vector over here. So where is this 3 coming from? It's from the addition of 1 and 2. You get 3. And the the one there, you put it on top. What if you want to find vector x cube? X cube would be equal to two third of p cube. So two third of p p cube. So you see where two is? It has come here, total down here, one here, total here of what is the total distance. Alright, so we answer now question uh, A. Let me clean up the space. So we said A, we are saying P, Q. You see, this P, Q. When you're on P, you want to go to Q. Which other way can you use? You can move P or O, Q. O, P, C, C, Q. In our case, we we'll pick this direction because there are values, there are values uh, to put. So, P, O, plus O, Q. So, from here, you move like this. P, O, O, Q. It's equal to this one here. So, let's put the values. Do we have a P, O? Uh, sorry, this is O. Do you have P O? Yes, it's there. It's in negative root P. If you can see here, there is 2P. Here I've written negative 2, a negative 2P. Why have I put a negative here? It's because it's moving in the opposite direction. The arrow is pointing upwards and it's moving from P to O is the opposite direction. Why O P? Is it the direction in which the vector is moving? But P O is the reverse. So opposite direction we put in a negative plus this one. O Q is what? It's four Q. So we can clean up our answer. So it's just the same. This this here. So this is the answer for A. For B, watch the next video where I'll be answering B and then C just like that. Thank you very much.